and he like stands by and says, "No, I I don't like this game, and I don't like this such and such person," and we'll be like, "That may be true, but you have to work on not vocalizing it so candidly, if that makes sense." So you can call BS or yell at me or whatever you want, but uh, and I can speak more to it. You just gotta tell me. Rod, you look like you have a question already prepared, so I'll let oh, you. Oh, fuck oh, me! <laughs> I was actually just gonna. Wait a second! I'm... Wait a second! Uh oh! Jesus! One sec. <laughs> yes, Jeff. Seriously, one second. It's like, I mean, what I'm about to, what I was just told, Rod might trump anything we're about to say. Uh, Should I get the Jeopardy music? Go. Hang on, no, it's he's typing. All right, well, announcement just went live. <laughs> All right. Uh, Idris been released from EG, I guess. Oh wow. Okay. So, so I'm glad uh, that we can talk about this. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you my pretty honest answer, and he says I can comment on it. Um, I did not know it was going to be this severe. I did not. Like, uh, I'm captain of the squad, so I, I, I stay pretty involved with talking about these things. And I, I, I try to uh, mediate, you know, between management and players, and I try to understand what's going on. This happened without me knowing anything about it. Um, so my, my immediate response is, is, holy fuck, that sucks. Greg's, like, one of my best friends. He's, he was one of the most... He is one of the most famous StarCraft II players. And at one time, he was one of the best foreigners. Um... But when a guy publicly says over and over again he hates the game that he's playing, he hates his fan base, and he doesn't care, when that's kind of the image he's portraying forward, EG is working really hard to, to get away from the image of we don't care about the people that support us and, and that we just do this for money, that kind of a thing. So when one guy's championing that unabashedly and just saying that is what it is, that's who I am, uh, then I guess EG has to approach them, talk to them about it, and if they don't want to change, then perhaps sever them. Well, I wasn't prepared for this to happen on the show. I think uh, everyone is definitely a little bit shocked. Uh, Slasher, you want to ask a question now? I didn't actually have a question. I was going to comment, but <laughs> now, that, now that this has been done and we have... Uh, let's see. Is there an official comment yet? Uh, there is. should be one on Team Liquid. Yep, yes, I'm looking at it right is. now. That's just like so surprising to be coming out all of a sudden, I guess. I mean, I think some people maybe expected it, but we've seen things before, and, you know, it's not really seemed to have been a big, such a big deal. But, um, yeah, that's really sad news. So... One detail that I think is important to talk about, because when these kind of things happen, people go over it with a fine-tooth comb, which is very understandable. Greg recently moved to San Francisco, so it would be pretty amazing if uh, this were to come out and people were like, you know, well, I mean, this did come out and people were like, wow, what, a, what terrible timing. It is pretty bad timing, but um, I guess EG is going to help supplement his income, or his rent, rather, um, hmm. as like a transition thing, so that because uh, I don't know if people know this, and actually this is, I was hoping to be able to talk about this on the show, but EG is actually extremely loyal to its players, former and present. And I think it's pretty cool that, uh, because this is a disciplinary thing, right? It's not, like, it's not like Greg dropped below a certain ELO and we're like, well, sorry, man, you're too terrible now. It's not like that. It's more we can't have this kind of behavior in action and, and be condu conducive with that. So EG is trying to help him out with the transition period there, and I think that's pretty cool. All right, so I read the uh, release, and it, you know, just talk. It talks about esports and, um, you know, professionalism in the industry and everything that uh, goes around that. Not many details directly about Greg and things he's done, but I mean, everyone kind of has seen it. That's what we're talking about to begin with. I have to say that this is probably the decision that needs to be made. And I say this because I remember talking about Greg and him getting a psychiatrist, I would think at least a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. I'm not sure if it's that long, but it feels like it has been. And he had great games versus Polt. Polt is one of the best players in the world right now. He took life to five games, barely missed out on beating him. 
Dallas. Life goes on to win. Still had a really good showing at DreamHack. He is one of the best players. Idra was leading the first game. The, the two games that he played, um, and then I didn't get to see the games against Ghost User, but he played good games in the group. It's not like it uh, was a rollover or yeah. anything. So for then for him to make the comments that he made to his fans on top of, you know, having the psychiatrist the entire time and having gone through these ups and downs and already being at this point, not having a real good reason to do this to begin with, it was just extremely disappointing, I think, from everyone's and that he would go to these lengths. He could have by now and should have by now, with the help that he's gotten, sucked it up and told his fans, you know, something good. That he was like, all right, they were, they were really tough losses, and I really didn't want to go out in the round of 32 for WCS North America. But I'm going to try to go for Season 2 and make it. Because this whole new, you know, tournament that Blizzard has created is supposed to... I mean, all right, it didn't exactly help the North American <laughs> players, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But assuming they fix it, it's meant to help them get into the finals more... I would only think he would be more enthusiastic about trying to push harder and make to make this work, especially with the new system, for everything to happen and then to make those comments. That was the last straw. So I, I see this as a good move by EG and the one that needs to be made. Uh, this is, um, at least for me, this is kind of a, a weird topic because Greg is a pretty good friend of mine. Um, I, I hope that this is kind of the kick in the ass, the the realization of the the world or something that perhaps he needs but i don't know i i don't know what he does from here i i he hates the game enough to where maybe he just stops playing and does something else but i don't know how he can support himself in san francisco and and do all that with with kind of an entry level job like where where does he go from here cuz i don't know well um greg is is actually a Despite some of the things he said online, he's actually an extremely intelligent guy. He's uh, yeah. he saved up his money. He's totally fine, and uh, he has always talked about going back to school. I mean, keep in mind, guys. Um, E.G. was actually just telling me they're sorry that they didn't tell me a little bit earlier. It's actually act. It, it's happening actively right now. Like they just talked to Greg ten minutes ago, so they were very sorry that they couldn't tell me and prepare me before the show because obviously it needs to be discussed. Um, so everything you're hearing from me is like kind of off the cuff, and, and I'm sorry that I'm, I'm not my usual, a little bit more prepared self. But I guess what I would say is uh, without having spoken to Greg, Greg has always played this game professionally. That's always been his job. So I have to imagine he keeps on going. He has said that he really doesn't like the game, and he does have a passion for like cooking. He's a very smart guy. He's always wanted to go back to school, so I don't know if that's now when he does that. Um, to be honest, it's not for me to say. It's for Greg, to, if he mm. wants to talk about. So maybe someone does an interview with him or talk with him or something. Um, but what I, I, I do want to speak out to is that <clears throat> it's really easy. Um, I'm kind of a guy that believes you should, when you make your bed, you should lay in it. And I think Greg has said really toxic and bad things. So I, I understand when people kind of make those, like, that video at the top of Reddit that was really mean, but it was kind of like taking a jab back at a guy that just said something really mean about the community. I, I get that. I guess what I would ask is that people take a step back for a second and also realize that while Greg has said uh, really nasty stuff, he's also, he's also been a really integral part of the growth of this game and the game itself, and, and he's been an icon for a lot of people, and there's a lot of pressure on him. So at a time like this, like rather than reaching out with more venom and, and kicking him while he's down, I'd, I'd ask if you have it within yourself to try and uh, be a little bit more compassionate, because this is, this is a tough day for Greg and a lot of other people. And... Uh, in no way, shape, or form should he be excused and off the hook for what the things he said. But I don't think people should go after him and try to really just... I mean, there's just some nasty shit going around, and, and it doesn't need to go to that level. Hmm. Jenna, do you want to comment any more on it? <laughs> I think we're all just a little bit kind of, not confused, but shocked. Maybe yeah, it's the best word. Yeah, <laughs> shocked would be probably the most appropriate word. I, I just don't think I really could have imagined... A, a time in esports where Greg would not be with EG, you know, just so synonymous and so ingrained in us that, you know, it's almost like I can't imagine him ever being on any other team. 
I, I don't know why that is. It's just, you know, the cult of personality, I'm sure, will follow him wherever he goes because he is, you know, definitely a character. Um, you know, he, he brings his own flavor to the game for sure. But it's just, again, it's just so... I don't, I don't know. It, it's like being typecast as a child actor kind of thing. <laughs> you know, I, I, I just really can't imagine E.G. without Idra. And that's, that's just so, it's so odd right mm -hmm. now. Well, um, it's been five minutes. I've taken it in. I think I'm doing okay. And now I'm ready for the fun part. Where is Idra going to go? And he now needs a new team. Well, uh, hold on, Rod. I'm, Rod, I'm going to interrupt. Jeff, do we need to take a moment? You want to? Yeah, I'll need a minute or so. Okay, let's uh, let's just kind of put the show on break real quick. Uh, like Jeff just had this news hit. I think everyone's kind of reacting to it, so we'll take a uh, like a quick one or two minute break and then come back. I think that's best, Rod. Sorry to interrupt you, but we'll be right back, guys. More state of the game coming up right after this. in control against our Tosis debate and oh, going back and forth. That'll be easy. Believed to be pretty private and I'm not so like when these things do happen a lot of times it's, it's made a dead horse that we keep bringing up in this industry. <laughs> I that really talk somewhere like that and he needs to win games if he's going to want the best deal that he can be. What he's, the performance is from being the EG in the first place. Uh, I believe I interrupted you when we uh, cut to the quick break, so go ahead. Uh, so now that I was saying, now that Idra has been released from Evil Geniuses, uh, I want to look at it from both sides. I think you know, the bigger side here is where is Idra going to go? Um, there are a lot of teams out there still picking up players. I still think that he has... Uh, pretty good market value, you know, just based upon Idra being Idra, uh, let alone everything else, so that he is worthy of being picked up. I and mean, I think the biggest problem now is exactly what he was posting about on Team Liquid just yesterday, the comments which preempted the release of from being to EG in the first place, is that it's more about, it's not a, as much about him winning as it is just you know, being there and being who he is. And if he doesn't win, he's not going to get the good deal now with another team. Now that he no longer has the security of being on EG, uh, be, I mean, look how long it took for Naniwa to find a team, and it's really just EG Team B, but not EG. But I don't know exactly how it works, I, really, honestly. But it's still, you know, same organization thing. It took him forever to get on a team. Idra has a similar type of issues as Naniwa had or has on finding a team I think it will be somewhere like that and he needs to win games if he's going to want the best deal that he can be what he's the performances that he's had in the past year has you know helped create kind of the monster that has made him and I think the only way to get out of it is to really buckle down to practice and to try to get some good results I don't know I to speak on the subject like I've always found it kind of funny that people talk about Greg this way like um, Greg is actually, and I'm just going to speak completely candidly. He's a, uh, he's like the, th the top two or three most valuable players in all of StarCraft II, in his current form. He actually is. When he streams, he gets more eyes than just about everybody else. When he makes a comment on something, anything at all, basically, it shoots to the top of Reddit. It's it's a lightning rod on Team Liquid. He gets interviewed by the top places. He is uh. He is an attention mongrel. He actually holds more attention than anybody else, basically. Um, winning is, unfortunately, at this time, in terms of being famous, it's something that you do, and then you don't have to necessarily maintain in StarCraft II to be famous. I'm not going to say that he could just stream for the rest of his life and be the Idra that he was. By no means is that what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that now that he's a free agent, he's going to get offers that are amazing, from personal sponsorships to teams, because... When he joins that team, guess who the fuck they're talking about? Guess who the fuck is instantly on the map because of one player? That team. 
and that Idra. And I would say that him being released from EG only actually compounds that fact and makes it even bigger. The next team Greg goes to is going gonna, is gonna to be the team that is instantly a rival to EG purely because Greg was spurned or something like that. Um, I, I, I'm always annoyed when people talk about Greg where they're like, oh, he's just a random GM American Zerg now. No, show some goddamn respect. He's actually, he's got more Twitter followers than you do. He's got more Facebook fans than you do. He has, a, the Team Liquid fan page is one of the biggest threads in all of Team Liquid <laughs> history. Yeah. They actually talk in there, guys, just about him all <laughs> the fucking time. When he had a birthday, they sent him a gift basket that was worth like a thousand bucks, including all kinds of things personalized to him that they knew that he loved because they, they'd like snipe his life and look over every aspect of it and, and take out the things they know he likes, and then they, that's all they think about. I, I don't like that people have this notion of Greg that he's this weird has-been. When he commentates, guess who's the best fucking commentator at that tournament? Him plus whoever he's with, because they love his analysis and they love everything he has to say. So, yes, Greg has not been playing as good as he was. But even in his current terrible form, game number one against Polt, like you were citing, Rod, he actually gave him a run for his money, and if he wouldn't have GG'd the way he did, or <laughs> lack thereof of a GG the way he did, uh, we could be talking about a really good series. But, of course, there's that mental hiccup that he has that, that got him out of there when he got in a situation he didn't like. But... Like you said, if he buckles down and works harder, he'll only build on what I'm talking about. But I really, I just get annoyed when people talk about Greg like he's not literally one of the most valuable players in all of StarCraft. I think that, uh, <clears throat> I don't really have anything to say to that. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> I think it's Janet, very difficult to hey, hey, combat Jenna, that. <laughs> as the uh, team owner on the show tonight, uh, I don't have any American players right now. She has said that they won't recruit anyone but Koreans because they want to keep a unity in the house. Unless Idra decided to move to Korea. I and need another Zerk for GSTL. There you go. 